Right, let's get started. Welcome again to my panel, Conservative commentator Calvin Robinson and also broadcaster Danny Kelly. Look at that afro, it's getting so big. It's kind of, it's kind of squaring out at the back there. Is it? It's because yeah. I've been on the train, so it's oh, that's flattened. Right. You've been leaning on two sides of something yeah, and I know. it's going upwards. Well, I'm going to start with you, Calvin, obviously, because you are, you know, you're getting involved in, in, in religion in quite a big yeah, way. Yeah. Um, what is your view on some of the involvement of the church within things like, for example, the migrant crisis and the comments made by the Archbishop? First of all, happy Easter. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. Happy Easter. Um, it's troubling. It's, it's a difficult question, should the church get involved in politics? And I, I know what you mean. You mean like party politics, you mean government politics. Mm. On that level, no. When the Archbishop of York says that this policy, he finds it depressing and distressing, I think, well, who cares? We don't really care what your thoughts on this policy mm. are. That's not what we're asking you about. And when the Archbishop of Canterbury says this, this is ungodly mm. to be sending illegal immigrants to Rwanda. I think, what's ungodly about Rwanda? Mm. Um, I, I think that's quite insulting, to be honest. But again, it's none of his business. This is Easter. This is the most important holy day in our religion. He should be all over the papers, all over the media, saying, you know, Christ is risen. You are saved. God came to earth as man incarnate to, to die for your sins. Therefore, you get to live forever in Christ. That's what he should be saying. Mm. Not actually, I don't believe with the conservative government. Uh, I don't like what they're doing. I don't like their policies. I'm, I'm, I think it's ungodly. That is wrong. And that's what's happening in the Church of England right now. That's why it's, the numbers are falling in decline rapidly. This is why people are leaving in droves because they don't want to hear wokeness. They don't want to hear left wing politics. They want to hear about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's the only job of the Church, uh, and they're not doing it. It's the, political pandering. They should be talking about the celebration of Easter itself. Yeah, uh, not actually. And, and, and the other thing about this is that um, if they feel that way, I mean, there are plenty, plenty of great missionaries like Jackie Pullinger uh, and the Walled City, where people like that went away to these places that he's calling ungodly yeah. and actually put their efforts in helping. So, you know, why doesn't he leave this wonderful, you know, bu building that he's living in and staying in and go and help in those places that he's calling ungodly? I don't quite, quite see. Right. But we've also got so many illegal immigrants fleeing this terrible war-stricken country of France to get to the United Kingdom over the, over the channel, which is obviously a joke. It's, it's just stupid that people, people are leaving a very, very safe country to get over here. It's not for their lives. It's for economic reasons, clearly. But people are illegally crossing the channel tunnel, putting their lives at risk. Not only are they doing that, but people smugglers are putting people in unsafe vessels to get them over. So this system is deterring people from doing that. It's, putting, it's helping save lives. Mm. So it's very godly. Yeah. So does he not want people's lives to be saved? Of course, what he's suggesting is that we should have open borders and anyone from anywhere should be welcome into the United Kingdom because that's a very left liberal thing to believe. But it doesn't work like that in the real world. Borders are important and a government's number one task mm. is to protect national security and protect our borders. Perhaps he could have some more people in that cathedral, maybe they could stay there. Danny, what do you think? Good afternoon. <clears throat> I think what he said was he didn't qualify it or put it into any context. I think what he means when he says it's ungodly, I don't think he's even contemplating referencing the, the, the nightmare trips, the dinghies and all of that sort of stuff. What he's saying is that once they actually get into this country, it's ungodly or it's unchristian to ship them out to Rwanda. I think that's his point. What he should have said is, OK, uh, I understand that it could be a deterrent. I get that. But when they're actually on British soil, I think it's ungodly to... You're right. He's a globalist. He wants open borders. Mm. Uh, and, and this is a, a clash of religion with, with what it's like to live in the real world. You know, mm. th that, that text was written thousands of years ago. And, you know, there are real world issues, here and now issues, which affect... And mass unfettered immigration can affect people in the UK right now, here and now, it has negative consequences mm. for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I think this guy is, from his religious position, and is it ungodly to, to ship off people to Rwanda when mm. they want to make a life in the UK? It probably is ungodly. Why? Well, he doesn't oh. take... Well, because what, 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 what Christ would wouldn't put them on, a, on an aircraft and send them to Africa Christ when they need help. Them, Christ would stop them from getting on the dinghy. Well, the that's first my issues. earlier point. He that's should have qualified do. it. He yeah. should have said, look, I understand it's a deterrent. I get that. But, but once they're but, but here, we're, not, we're not sending people to detention centres. No, we're I know, to, to I know we're not. We're putting them somewhere to be, set, to be processed I properly agree. rather than what we don't, we don't have a proper... Calvin, I agree with you. So I don't, no, I, I know you agree, but I don't understand why you think that this would be... Because Christ would welcome them religion. into his family. That's his point. If Christ was alive, he would welcome them and make space for them. 
But we're not saying they're not going to be welcomed. We've got to process them. We've got to find yeah, out but if they, they, can't just if come they straight are in. a refugee uh, or not, or if they're illegal immigrants. I know, but they're going to be processed in Africa, Why which is a safe country. Well, he would say it's ungodly. He well, said process well, them here. Well, that's I my point. Ask, I don't okay. agree with him. I just, I just don't so get can it. I, I, can I don't I get it either, Calvin, but I don't agree with him. But that's, that's Calvin, his position. I want to ask you this, because I didn't quite understand what he was talking about. He said it cannot carry the weight of resurrection justice of the conquering, uh, of life conquering death. It cannot carry the weight of the resurrection that was first to the least valid for it privileges the rich and the strong. What does that mean? That is exactly the point. You see, There's a whole <laughs> new, another language, what? church what? language. These what? people, the hierarchy, the bishops, <laughs> they're, they're so... They're, I mean, they are the metropolitan liberal elite. They're so in their own echo chamber that they think that that makes sense. They think they're talking to it's normal people. Sense. Normal people don't understand that. That's just mm. mumbo-jumbo. You know, it, it, these people are the same people that when we have any political issue that they don't like, they'll come out and speak about it. Brexit. All the bishops came out and spoke about Brexit. Mm. Dominic Cummings, they didn't like him, they came out and spoke about him. When do they come out and say, actually, we, don't want, we want to fight against abortion because that is against our religion? When do they come out and say, actually, we want to address this issue of transgenderism uh, because people should feel comfortable in their bodies and we want to support people and, and let them know that God made them that way and they should be happy in their bodies? When does the church come out and fight for its values? rather than coming out to fight against uh, or, conservative policies. Or on the other hand, because I don't think any of the mainstream media might even mention um, that it doesn't really make much sense. Perhaps they could, because everyone will play this speech and say this is what he said. And is it a, Nobody will actually say, look, actually, to you and I, this is actually what he was saying. And just in normal speak, can you just say what you mean? Mm. Because, and that's the problem, it's this detachment with reality mm. and the ta detachment of those who would be coming to the church but don't, because they haven't got a clue what's going on and don't know what they're saying. Right, well, Calvin, I've got to say you made the Sunday Express today. Um, you have accused the Church of England of holding you back because of your conservative views. We will talk more about that at 5.30, but in about 60 seconds, just give us a taster. Uh, in 60 <laughs> seconds, OK. Uh, I believe uh, that we should return to Scripture for our Christian values, our Christian teaching, rather than trying to chase society. I don't think we should get with the times, because I think people are sick and tired of political correctness and wokeness, and we should return to Christian teaching, uh, British values, Christian values, and find out what is morally right and wrong uh, in Scripture, rather than what looks OK today. Right, wonderful.